Hi, I'm Amy Tangerine. I'm a designer, mama, multi-passionate creator, and firm believer that crafting a life you love is essential to well-being and happiness. My mission is to inspire you to find joy and confidence through creativity. Today I'm going to show you how you can visualize the wildest wishes in your mind and make a vision board with the help of an Avery binder, sheet protectors, markers, glue sticks, and DIY decals. A vision board is a powerful way to keep your goals in focus. It's a collection of pictures, magazine clippings, photos, and words that you can use to inspire your future hopes, dreams, and plans. Your vision board can illustrate your goals for your personal life, professional life, or both. Here's an example of what one looks like, but today we're going to be making a smaller version. And it's crazy because a lot of it came true. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, I definitely have gotten better about saying yes to saying no. I have uh, less stress. I'm a little bit more organized, less messy. I love this one. Make every day more relaxing. And look, it's home, right? So we wanted a new home. It's where ma life's magical moments unfold right in front of you. It's home. To make a mini vision board, you'll need a notebook, small bulletin board, or just a simple piece of paper. You can also use an Avery binder like this with inspirational photos and clippings. Something to write with, like Avery markers, and something to hold images in place, like washi tape, glue sticks, or Avery stickers. Let's start by walking through the process that I use to make any vision board. Step one is to take a pause and visualize your ideal future. Before you dive into creating, close your eyes and think about what you'd like to see happen in your life. Don't limit yourself to what you think is realistic. Let your imagination run wild. Step two is to find inspiration. Flip through magazines with a pair of scissors in hand or print new images that best represent your plan for the future. You could find photos of tangible items, like a house that you'd like to live in or a car you'd like to drive, or you can find photos that represent positive feelings like joy. Step three is to choose your display method. You could display your vision board on a simple piece of paper, a bulletin board, or in a binder like this. I love that AV binders have a clear front pocket so you can easily decorate and customize your own vision board by filling this pocket with your own artwork and creations. For this vision board, I wanna focus on travel. So for the cover, I'm going to lay out photos from different places I want to travel to and decorate it with stickers and doodles that relate to the theme. As you scour through your magazines, look for images that appeal to you. I actually already have some clippings in this binder from years ago, and I can sort through and grab the ones that I feel like using. Avery page protectors are excellent for storing your clippings. This one is even labeled places and travels. I don't even remember what I have in here. <laughs> Ooh, explore, experience, and thrive. Ooh, this pink kitchen.
You can't have a favorite place until you've seen them all. I think this is a good start. So as you gather your magazine clippings, find one that you want to sort of create as a base onto your page. Isn't it fun? So with this one, you can go ahead and make a bold statement for the cover. You can also tear if you don't feel like using scissors. It creates a nice artsy, rugged effect. All right, so when you're ready to commit, you can take out your glue stick and adhere. I found this image which says, good living, has the image of a sky, a bridge, and at the bottom it says the high road. Visually, things tend to look better when you have odd numbers, so I'm going to add this camera element as well. This sticker was made using Avery DIY decals. Feels great. Now that you have your cover done, you can slide it into the front of the binder. I love how the pop of blue on the inside is right here as well. Step four is to create your inside pages. And you don't have to make too many. You can start off with one, and I'll show you what to do with those extra clippings. one that says adventures. Of course, I love this experience, explore, thrive. And it says it's not every day you can get so far from the everyday. This one is talking about technology and how it enhances learning and creativity, but I believe that travel does that too. You can just make a little pile on the side for your trash. Ooh, revel in the extraordinary.
So I love this colorful background and I'm going to disregard the title about making over your Monday and use it as an inspiration springboard for a rainbow travel spread. And at the top, it says balance, really tiny. I ripped the page a little bit, but no worries because I'm just going to glue it right down onto the paper. We didn't travel for a very long time, and now I feel like this clock represents the now. You can combine phrases that you see to create your own. You don't have to commit to gluing down just yet. You can explore putting your pieces down and moving them to your liking. I'm really liking the way it's looking. As you're moving your pieces around, you can decide when to stop. You can always add to it later, but I recommend getting something glued down on paper during your time that you're sitting there because as we all know, sometimes we put things off and don't get back to it. So now I'm committing to adhering these down And I really like how colorful it looks. It embodies a sense of how I want to feel at home and while I'm traveling. And even though it's not so literal, I'm not putting images of islands or the beach or palm trees. It's more about how I want to feel on these next adventures.
You can also cut the sticker in half. This is with the DIY decals once again. You can highlight little things, big things. It's up to you and it's always nice to add your own personal twist. Finishing touch right here. There we have it. Now with your leftover clips, if you'd like to collect them because they are around the same theme that you were going for, and if you don't have time to create another page at the moment, you can keep them together and slide them right into a sheet protector. These are Avery's Secure Top Sheet Protectors and they have this wonderful little flap. They are archival safe and they also keep your clippings safe because they won't fall out. All right, so when you are done doing all of that, you can also add your page into your binder. I'm going to use the same sheet protector. The secure top might be my new favorite. Slides in so nicely. There you have it. When you're done making a few more pages, make sure you flip through your binder often. It will give you inspiration to keep going and it will help brighten your days. It will also remind you that some items on your vision board are going to turn into memories. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.